An object in this Blockbuster 2000 movie was so popular, an award category was created for it. That story more next. Hi everyone, welcome to Retroflix. This is your channel for movie and TV retrospectives. Today's movie is a movie that dives into survival. What does it take to survive what seems to be a hopeless situation? The physical and the psychological toll it can take. Wanting to give up one minute and the next minute say, I'm going to survive this or I'm going to die trying to survive this. This movie dove into that in great detail. And the movie we're doing today is Cast Away from 2000. Castaway is a movie about a FedEx systems analyst, um, his name was Chuck Noland, who is sent around the world to basically troubleshoot problems that FedEx has all over the world, uh, whether it be Europe or Russia or Southeast Asia, wherever they have facilities, there's a problem, he has to go and, and try to troubleshoot and problem solve the situation that might be happening. It is Christmas time. He is having dinner with his family, and one of those being his longtime girlfriend, very serious girlfriend, um, who we're going to talk here in a few minutes, but it looks like probably would be going to be a fiance. And he gets a call that he has to go. And one of the things, obviously, with his job is he can get minutes notice, he can get paid, and have to go. And so he gets over a Christmas dinner. He gets called and says, you, "There's an issue in in um, Malaysia. You're going to have to go." So his uh, girlfriend takes him to the airport and they exchange gifts and she gives him a pocket watch with her picture on it and it was her, grand it was her grandfather's pocket watch. And then he in turn gives her a little box and says, don't open this, no don't open this though until I come back for New Year's. When I get back from this from this job, I'll be back New Year's and we'll open it then. And I think it's really implied here that it's probably going to be an engagement ring and they're going to get engaged. Um, and her name her name is Kelly. So after that happens, you know, Chuck go, goes and you know and gets on the plane and she goes back home. And they on the plane, the FedEx plane, um, Chuck's plane hits severe weather and it crashes into the Pacific Ocean. He is the lone survivor, and he was able to get into a, an inflatable life raft. Um, the emergency beacon he loses, uh, locate, the emergency locator beacon he loses, and he is on this life raft. The next thing he knows, he wakes up and he is beached on this island. And so he finds himself on this island, and while he's there, you know, actually packages uh, wash up from the FedEx plane onto that beach. And so he, it's been at this point right here, this is where it takes off into, into um, this survival we talked about at the beginning of the, of, the show, of, the, of the episode today that he's going to embark in. And one of the other things that makes this movie really unique is this is a point in time right now in this movie when he gets in the island, which is actually most of the movie, um, that it's actually just going to be uh, Chuck Nolan on this. So for, you know, obviously for an actor, and we're going to talk about this a little bit later here in a few minutes, but you know, it's going to be, it's, it's, it's very unique and you only have, you only have one person acting and there's nobody else. So by and large, this is what this movie and then is going to be about at this point. He's going to be on this island and he is going to go through these emotions that we talked about at the beginning of the episode. Again, I won't go any further than that if you haven't watched this to, to, to go on for yourself from that point. But this is, this is, this is this, basically the synopsis at this point, what this movie is about. As far as the cast go, I'm only going to mention two players on this. Again, this is a movie that's very unique and that most of it is just by one by one actor is playing the scenes in most of this movie. But I'm going to mention, since I mentioned him in synopsis, so, you know, Chuck Nolan obviously got to because he's the major player, but also his girlfriend, Kelly. Chuck Nolan is played by Tom Hanks. We just had a Tom Hanks movie uh, with Splash, which was one of his very first. Obviously, by Castaway in 2000, he had become a bankable A-list. Uh, 
superstar in Hollywood. And also, too, his girlfriend, Kelly Frears, played by Helen Hunt, was that at that time, too. She was she was very popular at that time and was really doing well. She did a movie called As Good As It Gets, which is a great movie, and obviously was very popular in the, in, for a TV show, Mad About You, with Paul Reiser. So, so Helen Hunt would play Kelly Frears, his, his girlfriend, and we would think would become a fiance. This movie was filmed on location in Monteriki, which is an uninhabited island in the Fiji Islands. Uh, Chuck Nolan, Tom Hanks' character, doesn't know this is uninhabited when he first gets on it, but we'll find that out. But it actually is an uninhabited island in the South Pacific, and it was shot on location there. Tom Hanks put on weight for the pre-plane crash scenes, and then he's going to lose weight, and they did this so that would make it look more dramatic. So this movie was filmed between March of 99, I'm sorry, Mar I'm sorry excuse me, January 99 and March of 99. And then production stopped, and then Tom Hanks would lose weight to then, actually lose about 50 pounds, to then portray this character as he would be, as, a, as somebody would be over four years on a deserted island. So, again, January 99 to March 99 was a pre plane crash, Tom Hanks, and he would be playing playing Chuck Nolan from there, then they stopped and he, then they would, after he lost the 50 pounds, then they would go and they would film um, his uh, after four years on Inhabited Island <laughs> a character at that point. You know, what, you know, you lose that way, you know, what would it be like if somebody was on for four years you know, on an Uninhabited Island having to adapt to that life, you know, of, of eating fish and, you know, maybe other vegetation that you can find, you know, uh, I would imagine it would have to be healthy eating. You have no choice. There's nothing else to do. So, and of course, getting the water that you can and so forth, and probably being pretty active, you know. So, somebody's probably going to look not look the same, obviously, after four years being an uninhabited island. So, uh, they did a real good job with that. But Tom Hanks, you know, lost about 50 pounds for that. So, they, they did that year off so he could do that and come back and shoot. And that last, and that last part where they were shooting, after he was on for four, on the island for four years, and Tom Hanks lost the weight, so the character could show that, um, and that was, and that was pretty much filmed, and it was everything was done, everything was done probably about May of two thousand. They started filming, like says about a year. They started filming that part about April two thousand, and they finished up about the next month, about May of two thousand, finished up a shooting. So. I have to mention, when you mention Castaway, you have to mention Wilson the Volleyball. And, you know, it became Chuck Nolan's friend and companion for all those years that he was on the island. This character of the Wilson the Volleyball, and I am going to call it a character because it really was, it was created by screenwriter William Broyles. While researching for this film, Broyles, by researching for this film to write it, Broyles spent a week on an isolated beach in the Gulf of California. And he was there and he, for that week, he had to fend for himself. He had to find his own water, his own food, his own shelter. And he found himself, you know, psychologically not having anybody to talk to, talking to to other things, to other objects on there, just to, just to feel like you have some sort of a connection when you don't have a connection to another human being. So he found, he found that particularly that effect uh, pretty telling for himself and so when he was right when he wrote that script and was going through this he was like what can we do to to give this to give Chuck Nolan somebody to talk to but it's going to have to just be an object now there's different there's a couple different views on this I, I don't know which one really happened I, 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 I've seen where uh, William Broyles actually a volleyball actually did wash up on the beach where he was staying and he thought oh a volleyball good idea I've, I've, I've read that but I've also read and this actually came from the company Wilson it actually only it, this actually came from their website and 
And uh, they had an article on there that said that the creators of Castaway, the, 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 the movie creators of it, actually wanted a soccer ball but found that it wouldn't work. And so they asked for a volleyball because um, in the movie, Tom uh, Chuck Nolan, the character, gets really frustrated, has a bloody hand, and he puts his palm on the volleyball and throws it, and it makes a palm print, that, and he starts writing, and it makes a face on the volleyball to make it look somebody. So, the, and he keeps it there, and it dries, and for four years you see this like black, or this you know dried blood face, you know, on there, and so um, and that wouldn't work on the fuzzy soccer ball. So I, I I don't I don't know which one really happened, but you know, and of course. And of course, this is the volleyball is called Wilson because it's a Wilson volleyball from the company, and it became so popular after this movie that they made a character. The Critics' Choice Award in 2001 made a uh, an award category called Best Inanimate Object. And Wilson won, and the people from the people from Wilson, the execs from Wilson, uh, actually took the took the volleyball and went on the red carpet, just like it was somebody at the Academy Awards or some other uh, you know, any other critics' choices. This was specifically or any award show where they go on the red carpet and smile for the cameras. They actually brought the volleyball down the red carpet, and and Will and Wilson won the 2001 Critics' Choice Award for the best inanimate object, the volleyball. Yeah, I think that's so cool. So that's our that's our that's our topical trivia story, you know, uh, from our title. So just 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 it's so interesting. Uh, but that but they started then Wilson the, the company started then to make replica Wilsons from the from the um, from the movie and started to sell those. In fact, I think they still do. I think they still do sell them online. That you can buy a replica Wilson volleyball that you know the same kind that Tom Hanks had made on the uh, you know in the uh, in the show so the box office um, obviously this was just a it was just a blockbuster movie they came in the third highest grossing film of 2000 it was it was actually released in December of 2000 so near the Christmas time and then it bled over in 2001 but since it was released in 2000 it is put on the 2000 docket as far as its rankings go so it's money it made went over uh, went you know beyond year 2000 but it's put in the 2000 because that's when it was released. Um, it made about 430 million on a nine million dollar budget, so the, the, no problems there, right? And it garnered several nominations and awards and um, and wins uh, for this movie. Uh, Tom Hanks was nominated for a Best Actor at the Academy Awards for uh, that year, and and he and he won a glo uh, Golden Globe for. Or, uh, best actor so nominated the Academy Awards best actor won a Golden Globe for best actor so yeah just a phenomenal movie it's one of those movies to me that if I see it on uh, I don't I, cause I just stream now but you know um, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll catch it every once in a while uh, you know and watch it on streaming but whenever I had television actually a cable you know I would watch it anytime that I could if I saw it on I would watch it it was one of those movies and no matter where it was on I would watch it you can stream Castaway in several places. Uh, first off, if you have a subscription, you can get Castaway on Sling, Spectrum, or Freeform. And renting, you can go and rent on Row 8, Prime Video, Apple TV, and Vudu. So several choices there to watch this movie and stream it if you've never seen it before or if you've seen it before and like, oh, I want to watch that again. And I hope that you guys do that. And if you do, please comment below. Tell me, tell me what you think of it. If you've seen it before, watch it again. Please comment below with some of your comments about this movie and what you think of it. Um, I, I, I think it's just really well done and really interesting how it was done and the behind the scenes this movie is well too and it gives you a lot to think about as far as I always think it's one of those things where if you're on desert island what would you you know and it, it's you know if I was on desert island how would I you know it, it's just like I said it's just it's just a phenomenal movie that makes you think so but thank you very much for being here today and uh, take care until the next time that's a wrap